let's recall kung paano ginto solve it trust. When we say solve, ibig sabihin ginto solve natin ang mga member and mga forces on each member. Okay? So maran mo kita, uh, we have member A, B, member B, D, and so on and so forth. That each member, two types light forces can act on it. Only compression or tension, de ba? Dodo halak contrast. Amo ito yung assumption naton kung nag nagsolve kita kinsa solve naton na trust. But assumption permila ito niya actual it iya force na na experience. What I bending, what I torque permila actual. So it's either tension or compression. Then, so how do we solve naman? How do we solve um, trusses? Di ba, um, there are two methods nga ginto doha iyohan statics. May dakita number one. Ang tawag to is joint method. Di ba may dakita Joint method. Tapos may dakita tapos method of section. Yan. Joint method and method of section. I suggest mas maupay na iwa gamitin is the method of section. Kasi, it method of joint. Before, say for example, nagsosolve kahit member, say for example lang ha, member DF, ito yung maging sosolve. Member DF. Before ka makasolve it member DF, kailangan mula na isolve an A, B, A, C, B, and D, D, and D, D, kailangan mula na isolve before ka makasolve an DF. Diba? Kung method of joint. Pero kung method of section nga ni, dahil pwede ni masolve it DF. Okay? Kung method of section. Kaya ano method of section takin sa suggest because um, relate board exam, di ba tidahan dyan static? May da ka mo, may da ka mo ito parang gitatagang ka mo yung usa nga trust tas gipapabiling ang tanan. Ang tanan nga stress. I mean, sorry. Ang tanan nga forces on each. Ang tanan nga member. Di ba? Pero relate board exam, dire ito na siya ito pag it, gipapakiana. Relate board exam, mapakiana lang ito niya kung haing nga member. Find the 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 force the internal reactive force on member df or find the internal reactive force on member gh parang naka 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 specify kung haing nga member gid pa find so mas maupay kun method of section it will be okay so today we will discuss the method of section and i know you are all familiar with this naman so parang review lang ini predicated method of joints so, paano ba ko kahit method of joints? Let us um, have an example. Say, for example, these trusses is, are is subjected to, say, medanaton forces. Parang dito maridip force. Um, ano ba it? Uh, 10 kN. Parang litan. May nagkabi dahabi. May nagkabi dahabi. Okay. Of course, this is 90 degrees with the um, top cord. Itawag yun ang iya top cord. Maram naman kami, di ba? Top cord, bottom cord. So, ang top cord and, and forces nag-act iya 90 degree um, from the top cord. 10 kN. Ipapabiling ha aton and say um, DF, DG, and EG. Kaya, EG, D, G, nga hain, D, F. Ang yung papabiling ha ato. Of course, before you can solve, um, isolve la anay and reaction. Di ba? Reaction la anay. How, how can you solve for the reaction? Sige daw. Let us try to solve for the reaction. Din he, of course, this is um, a hinge. Madan niya X and Y. For sure, kit pa ka dito. A left to the left. Let's name this R, A, Y. R A X and R A Y. Yeah, kasi din naman upward. This is R A R A R L Y. Yan. Okay, so how do we solve for R L Y? R L Y la anay. Okay, magsasama mo moment kita ha R A di ba? Magsasama the moment at R A. Wala pa nga yung mga dimension. So, let's get the dimension. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 at 4 meters. Parang dako it 4 meters. Um, 2 meters na lang. In the distance. Parang gitan lang ha. Tapos hindi naman, say for example, distance between A e and B is... 
um, pera ba? Bisan diri given, di ba? Bisan diri given, basta maaram kita hit in a distance. Say, for example, this is uh, 3 meters. Parang dako-dako yun yung atras. <laughs> 3 meters. Parang written lang. Okay. Sige. Let us try to solve for, ano lang muna. Let us try to solve for the RY. So how do we solve for RY? We'll sum the moment at um, A. This is equal to zero. We will take clockwise as positive. Okay? So before we can solve, uh, kailangan natin an ininga distance between A and B. Or an angle din. Ininga angle. So kita, what's the angle? Theta. That is equal to arc tangent of 3 over, pera ba? 1, 2, 3. 3 nga 2. That is 6 meters. Right? Asya ba? Ako, ano niyo? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pera ba? Pera ba it arc tangent 3 over 6? 26 degrees. 26 degrees. 26.565. Point, 26.565. Let's store it at A para dari kita magkinuhan. We'll store it at A. 26.565. 56505119. That's in degree. So that's the value of your theta. So from your theta, masasolve na ni mo ang distance between A and B. What's the distance between A and B? Pera. Mm, cosine. Adjacent, that's 2 over cosine theta. Asya ba? Pero ito yung answer. 2.23606. Asya ba? Yes, sir. 607. This is in meters. Let's store it at P. Store po ha, B para diri po na isinurat later. Yan. Okay, so that's the value for AB. AB and BD and DF pa prepare to need error distance. Okay, so we are summing the moment at A clockwise as positive. So we have here negative RLY, negative RLY that's multiplied by 6 times 2, 6, 2. That's 12 minus, adi naman nga 10, adi nga 10, uh, plus, plus 10 times Pero yung distance, what's the distance of 10 from A? Perpendicular distance. Diba yung distance? Yung distance, that is 2.23607 times 1, 2, 3. Times 3. Diba? 3 times... Gin store ko man habi. Butang ko nalagdi din nga B. Ha? Gin store ko habi. Plus, another 10. And yung naman nga 10. I hope nasusundan niyo. 10 times 2 times B. And value hand B, adi ha, adi. Yes, store ko yan. Plus again, ano sa nga 10 times B naman. This should be equal to 0. We are trying to solve for the value, value of RL, RLY. That is equal to pera. Um, negative X. Plus uh, times 12. Alam niyo daw pakisolve yap ha? Para bangin ako magmalihit ako ng pagsolve. Sir, so, another X component. An X component han? And for it nga applied. No, there na. Kay perpendicular distance naman ako ng gamit. Ini naman nga distance. This is perpendicular distance. Oh, na. okay, sir. Okay, sir. Perpendicular naman, di ba? Yes, and times 2 times. Plus. 
understand. I know. It should be quality zero. What's your answer? 11.18034. 35 ba na ako nun, sir? 18035. 35? Ay na daw. Mali. Mali ako. Ito ako yung discrepancy. Wait lang ha. Bangin ako. 11.18035. Oh, ama na ako nun answer. 11 point something. Chip solve. My answer is 11.18034. Asha, a new answer, Pera. I'm on a sir, 11.18039891033, oh, pero 349, okay, 9 minutes on. Yes, sir. This is in kilonewton. I'm going to an answer. Oh, RLY, may nakita RLY. Solve naman natin an, ano ba ito sa nun? An RL. Pwede natin kuha ko ng iya resultant it yan, hindi ba? 10, 10, 10, 10. Kuha ko natin ng iya resultant para dito kita makurean pag solve. Ah, hindi ng iya resultant. Parallel forces man lang ito niya. Diba? The parallel forces, the resultant is 40 kilonewton acting at uh, at a distance, pera ba? Pera yun yung a distance, nga di. Um, 3B over 2. Diba? 3B over 2. And yan he, times 3, 1, 2, 3. Tapos i-divide yun to 3BB over 2. Ang daming lamok. 3.5. Pera. Pera niyo answer. 3.35. Pera ko rin ha. 410. 3.35410. Ini nga distance. Amo na sir. 410. Okay. Store po ito niya. Okay. So that's it. Kaya nagin ko ang kupay para ako na equation direct damo. It's exosolent. Okay. So, may nakita RLY. Sunod po ng exosolve is the value of RAY and REX. Hmm, paano ko ba isosolve? REX lanay. Ano? REX lanay. Uh, to solve for REX, I can use the summation of forces along X equal to zero. Taking to the right as the positive. Okay. So this is the ano this is the resultant of the four forces, di ba? Naya kan pwede ko gamiton ini nga resultant in replace with the four forces. That's according to Varignon's theorem that the effect of a force is equal to the effect of its component. So ano ding mga component pwede ito na represent it yan hinga 40 kN. Okay? And also acting at this point right here, acting at this point that point is on the line of action of the resultant. So, okay lang. Because the effect of a force does not change throughout its line of action. That's according to the principle of transmissibility. Well, I can discuss with you your hand first meeting. I think second meeting ada. Principle of transmissibility. Okay, so uh, summation of forces along X. So, it's as if Delete ko lang na ini para makita niya. It's as if um, aan hindi niya nag-aak. Anak yung resultant. Yan. And, and yung distance naman din ni Perad to? 3, 3 point 35410. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, T and EX, and EX component and 40. Naso gan nga di ba? Tas an EY naman. Naso gan. Then EX component and 40. This is your, this is your theta. Ano mo theta di di? Di ba? Ang kita niya. Ano mo theta? 
So, to solve for the value of x, that is 40 sine sine theta. Positive 40 sine theta, which is... Oh. Mr. Prinsilio, you are not... They're in a silent. Okay. So 40 sine theta. And take note, another theta is 26.565. Na store natin ha. Okay, so what else? Ano pa along the x-axis? Minus rax. And that is equal to zero. Amula di ba? Waray na iba. So amula. So rax is equal to 40 sine theta. What's the value? 40. Sine theta na store natin ng a, and that is equal to 17.88854. Asya ba? Yes, sir. Ako na po. Or ah, 17 pala 17. 8.54. This is in kilometer. Yan. Okay. So after that, uh, you solve naman for the value of Rey using the summation of forces along the line. This is equal to zero. We are, we are taking upward as the positive force. Kahit mga upward forces din hi, RLY and RAY. Okay, butang ko didi ha. RLY and RAY. RLY plus RAY minus... And resultant niya is 40 cosine theta. 40 cosine theta. This is equal to zero. You already have the value of RLY. That's 11.18034. It's here. So, we'll solve that in RAY. RAY, therefore, is equal to pera. Um, 40 cosine theta. Minus RLY. RLY is 11.18034. So the result is 24.5967. Same po, sir. 5967 and 5. This is in kilometer. Reaction pala dapat madag midnight ka solve. Pero ma pinag kita. Okay. So those are the reactions. Next, take note ang ipapabili natin is DF, DG, and EG. Paano yun natin ma mabibilungan? Wala na Paano natin mabibilangan? Ikakat natin dito using the kuan ha, using the method of section. May nakita section nga ikakat natin ni din. Okay? So ikakat natin this is our section. Let's name the section AA. Okay. So ikat nga ni natin dito, um i-isolate is either to the left of the cutting plane or to the right of the cutting plane. I suggest it gamita, it guti, it force. Ako ha, it gamita, it guti, it force. Kaya ano, kaya kung guti nga it force, mas madagmit pag solve. Diba? O kita ah, kung to the right nga dito yung gamit, yung prepared forces nga involved. Adi nga 10, adi nga 10, adi nga 10, tas adi nga RAX and RAY. Kung to the left nga ni, to the right nga ni, adi lang, RLY it involved, kung hindi nga 10. So mas makupay kung to the right, it atang gagamit yun, diba? Okay, so adi, adi na kita it method of section. So, to the right yun at ang gagamitin, ha? Um, ano ba? So, God. Put it to the right. So this is 
H J L K I Okay. Uul. <laughs> okay. So, ang mga member naman di D, nga nakat. Adi man ang mga member nga nakat. D, F, D, G, nga hay ni E, G. Magiging forces ito niya. Di ba? Assumption lang natin nga, nga tension. Para kung mag-negative manit aton answer, sabihin, compression. Okay? And E, G. Okay. Diba? Asya ito. And of course, may the DN force. Applied force. Let's use white. Nasugan. This is 10 kilonewton. Okay? Sa amo ito. Okay. Ada. Asya ini atin. Ano? Of course, may the pang NDDN reaction. Pero ad reaction? Ad ito? Um, 11.18034. This is in kilonewton. Yan. So, amin na natin mga forces na nag Anaton concern is the value of, this is the F force uh, DF. Tapos, adi man, this is the force uh, DG. Tapos, adi an force uh, ano ba ito? DF, DG, DG. Ay. Yan, okay. Question. If we are trying to solve for the value of df, at ito ang inibili nga, df, kung gusto natin ma-solve it, value it df, diin ba kita magmo-moment? Sige daw, kita anin. Point G, sir. <laughs> point G, sir. Point G. Point G. Point G, point G di ba? Para zero and FDG. Kay unknown kasi hiya, yeah. so... We need to make sure na we are trying to, to solve for the value of df at moment hindi nga duduha, zero. So, dahil na nag-meet, so, di na kita mag-moment to solve for the value of df. Diba? Summation of moment at g is equal to zero. We are taking clockwise. We are taking clockwise as the positive moment. Okay, ano mga clockwise moment di da? Okay, we have to resolve the, yung 10 ha. I-resolve natin ang 10 into its component. Okay, so meron niya x component, tapos meron niya y component. Para on natin nga 10. Meron niya 10 with that. Meron niya x component to the left, tapos meron niya y component downward. The x component is 10 sine, 10 sine theta. Pero ba 10 sine theta? Do you agree nga 10 sine theta here? Yes. Okay. 4.4721. That is 4.4721. Tapos, ano sa naman? Cosine and y component. 8.94427. That is... Ito, pero ito, 8.944. Okay, so, yan. Okay, so, we are taking clockwise moment at G as the positive. So, at mga positive moment, ini nga 4.47214, di ba? 4.47214 times, pero ba distance? Pero niya distance, perpendicular distance. 3, three. Ba? three. Three. Yes. Plus an 8.94427. Wari naman niya moment. Wari naman niya moment arm. Diba? So, yung minus na lang natin da. Yun. And yan hi. Minus. Well, 11.18034 times. Tulung uh, 2. That is 6. Diba? 2. 2, 2, 2. 6 meters. Yan. And of course, yung DF. Of course, the DF. We have to resolve this DF also into its component. Okay? So, we have the DX component. We have the Y component downward. And Y component, never mind because we have moment. An X component lang. Okay? 
So if this is if this is data, what this is data? Also, Didi, this is also data, diba? So this is also data. Do you agree? I didn't hear uncle data. Yes, sir, Amona. This one right here is data. Okay, that's data. And we already have solved for the value of data. So we call it ha minus minus because the moment of if D F X is counterclockwise, we are taking clockwise as the positive moment. So minus minus para. Um, F D F cosine theta. Um, cosine yes, cosine theta. This is equal. No 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 no. And moment arm pa. This is just the force pa lang. And moment arm pa is 3. Times 3. This is equal to 0. Yeah. Next. What's next? Solve na for the value of FD. FDF. But this is equal to. Take note yung store ko ha. Ang theta ha. Value ha A. So. 4.47214. Multiplied by 3. Minus 11.18034 multiplied by 6. Asha ba? Multiplied by 6. And minus. Minus x times cosine a. Gin store ko kasi ang theta ha a. Times 3. This is equal to zero. What's your answer? Negative 19.99999. Ano? Pero negative yes, 20 doon niya. This is negative 20. This is in kilo newton. Oh, Mayroon na itong FDF. O, oh, dahil na. Nasira na nato ng FDF. Diba? Nasira na ha? O, oh, sunod. If DG. If you are trying to solve for the value of FDG, the in kita magmo moment. E, sir. Hmm? The in? Okay. Apple. Yes, sir. Very good. Did you get a magmo moment? Did it? Let's see, extend that and did you get a magmo moment in a point? And it so happened that that point is point A. Demand, diba? Because that's the point where um, force DF and force EG meets. Bada hit A, point A. So, ari kita delete point A magmo moment. Para zero and DF and EG. Pero okay lagi ha. Nga, dili kita mag moment at ano. Hindi siya ang ibibili ano. Pwede kita dili ha ano. Dito talaga. Dito talaga mag <laughs> Kay kailangan kon DG man pero kon wari nga ni wari nga ni kuan if you are free to choose kon hain it una ni mo ay so solve una hala na yan EG di ba di ka magmo moment at D para ma solve man EG anyway you already have solved for the value of DF naman so there na yung unknown and DF di ba di ba hello <laughs> yes sir yes sir so, Diba? Dere na. So, we can use we can use the summation of moments at A para masolve natin ng DF. Or, we can use the summation of forces along Y equal to 0. Diba? Ah, sige. Summation of forces along Y equal to 0. Let's take upward is the positive force. So, we have 11.18034. It's this one. Okay. Plus, ano pa? Pray na, di ba? Mamira pa, plus. An, an, an unknown mismo. That is, if DG. Uh, pera ba? Mm, we cannot say the ano. But what is this angle? Sige daw. If this is 3. Di ba? Ini 3 ni here. 3. Ini. Sure, ako to ito. Ini, this is 1. Diba? Papihumal it era distance. So, 2. 2, 2, 45. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. 
if dg cosine 45 or sine 45. Anyway, pareho mo lang ito answer, sine or cosine. Sine 45, ano pa? Minus fdf. Diba? Fdf. Downward man hiya. Sine theta. Gusto natin ha valuehan a. And minus again, 8.944. 4, 4, 2, 7. This is equal to 0. Everything is given except the FDG because we already have solved for the value of the F. FDF, the back. Okay, so negative 20 and FDF. Trying to solve for the value of FDG. 11.18034 plus the unknown FDG multiplied by sine 45. Minus if dg, I have it if dg. Oh, if df, negative 20. Oh, wait lang, negative 20. So the direction of tf is compression. Tipa ka to ha bao bao. So negative, negative. Okay lang, mag negative, okay lang. Kay gin negative ba ngayon natin dt. So negative 20 gihap. Negative 20. Pa, negative 20 sine theta. Ayan. Theta. Ang theta kita sort ko ha ay. Diba? Minus 8.94427. This should be equal to 0. So the unknown. The answer is FDG is 15. Negative 15. Did you get the same answer? No, this is in kilonewton. Negative 50. Yes, sir. So, FDG is compression. Dapat. Okay? Compression. Pero okay lang yan. Yan. Sunod. Solving for the value of FEG. We can use the summation of forces along X. Diba? can use the summation of forces along x. Summation of forces along x. This is equal to zero. To the right as the positive. So we will have negative FEG. FEG plus. Oh, no, 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 no. Negative lang ako. Wara ko pa man nag-change. Ano? Negative FDG. FDG cosine, cosine 45. And minus again, FDF cosine theta mm -hmm. plus 4.47214. This is equal to zero. Take note the value of FDG are negative and FDF. Okay, so if we it negative, we have it, the value. Okay, what if we bin change and iya ko an iya um, direction? So if we ni it, pag solve. So this will be negative FEG, negative. Try to solve also, ha? Para makita natin bang in, sa ibig akong ginisisinurat. Positive 33. 33.54. FEG is equal to 33.5410. 2. Ah, siya ba? 5410. Yes, sir. This is in kilonewton. Yan. So, I'm going to eg. But that's how you solve. When using a method of section. Okay, so, basically, kung method of section nga ni, uh, itsahan talaga, it medyo maglilipong kapag solve. Kaya damit unknown. Pero masayang lang ito, bibilingon mula kung hain na tatapo ang duduha nga and other two unknowns. Say, for example, unknown hira nga tolo. Ito so solve ni man if dg. Dito ka magsasum up moment at g. Kaya dito and other two unknowns nagtatapo. So kung pananglitan na nang magusto isolve is if dg naman, dito ka magsasum up moments. Pananglitan nga tulo pa hera unknown ha. Nga tulo pa hera unknown. Dito mo iso solve at a. Summation at moment at a. Kaya dito nagtatapo ang duduha nga and other two forces. So for example naman kung if eg ang ginso solve, Didi ni mo 
the sum of moment at the point where the two the other two forces meet and that is at point d diba? at point d meaning at point d so that's only one is easy if that is kuntulo pa and unknowns so masayang lang 